Alright everybody, it's freaking Nick here, and today we got the new Dead by Daylight PTB, and with it came the new killer known as The Knight. This doesn't appear to be based on For Honor, so I'm sorry for spreading that falsehood, but the killer's name is Taros Kovacs, and here is his backstory. Taros's only memory of his childhood in Hungary is when his village was raided by a hostile army and his mother had him fake his death to avoid being slaughtered with everyone else. He woke up in a mass grave, climbed his way out of it, and remembered only feeling a sense of awe at the magnitude of destruction he was witnessing, not the normal feelings like sadness or anger or, or fear or anything. Taros was captured by the enemy and taken to Italy, where he was conscripted to the Guardia Campania where he trained under Kadir Hakam to become a knight. In his time there, he made a few friends, with three of them pledging their undying allegiance to him. Alejandro Santiago had worked with the armorer and became Taros' jailer. Durkos Malachek was a sneaky boy and became Taros' assassin. And Sandro Ralt, with his giant battle axe, became his carnifex, able to break things really well. Also, if I'm pronouncing these wrong, I'm sorry, I'm giving it my best shot. Taros eventually won his freedom and knighthood and promptly left the Guardia Campania, seeing their claims to support valor and chivalry as just empty verbiage since their actions were pretty opposite of that. He started to work for a wealthy duke named Victorio Toscano, who, by the way, is this chapter's survivor. Taros hoped to earn enough money to buy his companions freedom from the Guardia. One of the things Vittorio wanted to do, and, and got Taros' help to do, is he wanted to find a fabled stone which held the secrets to a gateway into a perfect world beyond good and evil. However, in order to get to that, they needed to get the permission of villagers who lived on top of some sacred catacombs in Portugal. They did not grant this permission, and Vittorio told Taros to try to get that permission, try to do it as diplomatically as possible, so Taros got the permission by um, by removing them and sending them to visit their ancestors. This was obviously against Vittorio's express wishes, so Taros instead had him imprisoned in his own dungeon. Taros tried to get Vittorio to tell him the secrets of the stone and how to unlock this special gateway to the land beyond good and evil. It's not beyond good and evil as in the Ubisoft game. I don't think that one's ever coming out. But Vittorio refused to speak. Taros offed all of Vittorio's friends and family, and that still didn't work. So then Taros took all of Vittorio's riches, created his own army, seized the Guardia Campania, and freed his followers. All of the neighboring lands saw him as the embodiment of evil and sought to purge him from the earth for the sake of morality. Once again, Taros saw all of this as just hypocrisy. They spoke of valor and purging evil just to cloak the fact that they were just as evil as him with their armies and their bloodshed. They just liked to hide it, and they did it under this facade of morality. Taros went down to the dungeons to end Vittorio's life as the armies were closing in on his village, only to find Vittorio's cell empty. Enraged, he went and faced his enemies. All of Taros's prejudices against the supposed moral high ground enemies were confirmed when he saw them launching flaming projectiles at residential areas of the village and trampling over innocents who had nothing to do with the conflict. They were only residents of a village that had been conquered by Taros. Taros reunited with Alejandro, Durkos, and Sander, and as they took down dozens if not hundreds of enemies, they failed to notice the fog enveloping them and taking them to another world. Taros found himself in the Entity's realm, surrounded by blood and horror, and to him, it was beautiful. It was the same awestruck feeling he had when his village was destroyed. Without Vittorio or his stone, he had found his perfect world beyond good and evil.